All right, good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are headed to the Charlotte Concerned Bikers Association Marine Toys for Tots run. Um, I'm headed over to Maria's restaurant to meet some folks for breakfast, and then we're going to go over to the staging area about 11 o'clock. So there's downtown Charlotte right in front of us. Um, and we're going to go over here and uh, have a good day on this ride. This ride starts at Bojangles Coliseum, and then it goes from there on about a 45-minute ride, and we wind up at Independence, Harley-Davidson. So join me for this ride, guys. Let's have a good day. So I headed over to Maria's and met up with a group of folks for breakfast. We had a good time of fellowship uh, before we got on the bikes and headed over to the Coliseum. Santa Claus pulled up, come get the loot. You better be watching what you do. None of that list you got, they go go through. Are you being good, haven't you? Santa Claus pulled up, come get the loot. You better be watching what you do. None of that list you got, they go go through. You being good, haven't you? I'm not trying to put demons in your mind. Just... Alright guys, we're turning here on the Briar Creek Road to head over to the Coliseum to stage for this toy run this morning. But I wanted to turn the camera off and say, give you that beautiful view of downtown Charlotte. And this is the Marines Toys for Tots ride here in Charlotte, North Carolina, hosted by the Concerned Bikers Association. Met these guys over at Maria's for breakfast this morning. And now we'll go over here and get staged for this ride. Oh, they're staging at the actual Coliseum this year. In years past, they've staged over there at the uh, Evans Auditorium. All right, guys, we made it here to the staging area for the Marines Toys for Tots run. Uh, and they got all these bikes here. We're right in front of Old Daniels Arena. You know, when that arena was built, it was the largest freestanding dome in the world, uh, is my understanding. Built back in the 50s, I believe. You know, put it in the comments. All right, guys, you don't necessarily have to have a motorcycle to come out here and enjoy these toy runs. They got a whole little parking area here dedicated. All these slingshots. All right, guys, we're waiting our turn to pull out here at the Charlotte Marines for Toys Tots run here. Uh, we're leaving the Charlotte Bojangles Arena. It used to be over the Charlotte Coliseum. And uh, these guys look like they're doing a pretty good job of getting us out of the parking lot. Uh, a big turnout here today for this ride. And uh, actually having a good day. I've met up with some friends I haven't seen in a long time. Uh, one of my former employees who went to be a contractor out in the uh, Middle East I haven't seen him since the mid 2000s, I guess. Um, he recognized me by my voice and came over and said hey to me. And uh, we kind of reconnected and talked for a little bit. It was good to see him today. And uh, we're gonna leave here, take about a 45 minute ride. We'll wind up over at Independence, Harley Davidson in a little while uh, and get us some food, hopefully, uh, there. And uh, they were doing a good job until these guys decided to break ranks and go the way they're going now uh, to get us out of here. So folks behind us are now taking advantage of an empty line and going around over there. So, 
Folks are going to do what they're going to do. The organizers can do all they can to keep things straight. Uh, but, you know, not everybody wants to obey or follow along with uh, the ruling order, I guess. And the fella there's flying old glory. Uh, we'll get there. <laughs> We're all going to the same place, so it's a pretty tequila sunrise and hardly orange street glide right there. guys helping this guy back up man about dropped his bike right there good job guys good job all right we're gonna be rolling here in just a second I guess we'll be at the back with the slingshots. <laughs> they got them bringing up the rear, it looks like. And a few more bikes at the very end. So we're not gonna be at the very, very end, but we're pretty close to the tail end of it anyhow. Alright guys, we're on our way. Okay guys, we did a little traveling down Independence Boulevard and now the ride is going to turn here on W.C. Harris. And we'll make our way out toward uh, Midhill and Matthews as we work our way around to the dealership. Saw a group of bikes uh, pulled over on the side of the road back there. I wasn't videoing at the time. Hope everybody's okay. Looks like maybe they're having a bike issue. I didn't see anybody on the ground. Uh, but look for a video in the future I'm going to do about rider down and what to do uh, if you're on a ride like this or you're on a trip and uh, need to give somebody some assistance. Thank you. We might be causing a little bit of a traffic uh, headache for these guys here in Charlotte. Had a group of cars get in the middle of us a few minutes ago and we had to get them out so we would be safe. Try to stay together in a group like this to keep everybody safe. Uh, these cars decided that they wanted to be in amongst our group while we were going down to Independence Boulevard. It's dangerous for us on this motorcycle, that's for sure. We're going to turn here on Idle Wild Road, and then I think we're going to turn up on Lawyer's Road. Typically right down through here, people are out on both sides of the road waving at us, so let's see what we pick up on the cameras here. Youngers get excited when they hear motorcycles. Thank you. So somehow, even though we've got police blocking the major intersections, I guess we had a gap large enough in this ride that uh, we've got several cars that have gotten in the line of motorcycles on this ride. And, uh, you know, Hope they're not trying to turn up here because the police have it blocked for us. And we're coming into the town of Mint Hill. So, our blocker for this intersection, <laughs> the officer that was blocking traffic for us, 
actually pulled away. Thank you, sir. And that officer there realized it and uh, held traffic up for us so we could all get back together. This is now we've had such a gap now there'll be cars in front of us again and if anybody in our group doesn't know where the ride is going we may just be uh, out here <laughs> trying to find our way through the countryside i rode this route last year the year before last so i think i kind of know how it goes back into matthews but uh it's a much better when you stay with the whole group but we've uh, become detached from the main group now so uh, let's see what happens. Well, we had somebody up here that knows where we're going. I thought it turned on Thompson Road the last time. So hopefully. <laughs> he knows where we're going. Guys, we're still out in the Mill Hill area. This is just a beautiful area of Mecklenburg County. Having a good ride, but we're still detached from the main group. So we'll see what happens when we get back up here to where the actual stoplights are at. If we, uh, are able to catch back up with them or we're just going to have to work our way on our own over to the dealership i think we may have caught up with the main group <laughs> which is a good thing uh, we're so far at the tail end we may not have caught up with the main group we may just be waiting on a stoplight we shall see <laughs> when we get up here to the light i guess <laughs> my granddaddy would say there's a castle if she saw that house back there, she would call it a castle. Wow, look at this spread here. I guess they've got horses, man. That is beautiful. All right, we got traffic being blocked again. And I believe that's my buddy, the Matthews police officer. That looks like, now that's CMPD. Not who I thought it was. service. Wonder where he's headed. Well, guys, we're almost back to the dealership here. Wonder how far away we're going to have to park. been dancing the whole ride <laughs> first time I captured her on video though well I believe I lost my group but uh, at least we're here at the dealership I'll find them but there's just a few bikes here today All right, guys, we made it. I'm my buddy Pedro, we kind of lost our group. They're up here in front of us. We're going to catch up with them as we go turn in our toys. What's the name of that ride, Pedro? That's right. That's right. It was a beautiful yeah. ride. Pedro asked me if he could leave his helmet on his bike. He's afraid somebody's going to run off with it. I told him he'd probably be all right at this to leave it sitting there. I left mine sitting out. And I'll owe him a helmet if it gets gone. Are y'all allowed to hand the toys over? Yeah. Oh, okay, well, we ain't getting beer. Well, good luck. All right, there we go. Oh, I see the Marines up there. I've been wanting to put you in my That's YouTube right. video, man. I put a YouTube video together for this. Okay. Yeah, we, we're right here every year. How many toys do y'all want to get? Uh, I don't know how many it is. A truckload? Yeah, a truckload. That's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> 
Guys, these are the Spirit Riders. They're right here in Charlotte, Spirit Riders. They brought a truckload full of toys, and they've got their little assembly line going on here. More than 300. <laughs> More than 300 toys. Filling up that van over there. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, guys, we're here inside of Independence Harley Davidson. I ought to walk around the store for a second and show you what they got. Parts and accessories right there. The motor clothes department is way over yonder. And, uh, and then we're right in the middle of the motorcycle sales right here. So if you're in the area, come by and see these guys. They do a great job of posting this. Glad I don't have to go to the bathroom because it is over there and the line is really long. Some nice looking road glides over here. All right, guys, it's quieter in here. I'm going to make my way back outside and uh, see what they got going on out there. And then in a few minutes, we'll be heading to the house. I see David everywhere. He was in yesterday's video when I finally yeah. did it. There's David again. So he's on this one again. So yes. he subscribed to the channel. You should too. That's right. That's right. It's good <laughs> Help content. me grow it. That is all you. What you riding now? Oh, no. That's not you, then. You need to stay on the road glide. <laughs> How long you been on road glide? I'm Tim, by the way. I got a YouTube channel. I'm going to put you on my YouTube. What's your name, man? My name's Charles. Charles Purvis. It's a Charles Hello, Purvis. Everybody. He never heard of me before, but I just introduced myself to him. Yeah. But he rides a road glide. He's trying to get on this here road team, no. but nah, we're going to stick with the road glide. I he can get him a like new one, seat. though. I thought, the seat was, <laughs> I thought the seat was interesting. We're going to stay with the road glide. <laughs> Pretty cool, man. Uh, meeting people, talking to people. Uh, that gentleman I just spoke with had a son with him. I didn't want to put a son on here. But 12 years old, he's sharing his love of motorcycles with his son. I think that's pretty cool. So, you know, I did a cross-country trip with my son when he was 15, turned 16 on that trip. It's something I'll never forget. And uh, it's a memory that is just priceless to me. So, spend time with your loved ones this Christmas. Merry Christmas. Guys, they had food and beverages and all that kind of thing, but I'm not going to partake in any of that. I'm just going to head on to the house here in just a minute. It's been a good day so far. Hey guys, what better way to finish out a weekend of four runs than come to a Christmas parade with the family. We're here at the Gastonia Christmas Parade and get ready to watch that. And he just found my zipper. But if you like today's video, be sure to click like and subscribe to my channel. I'll catch you on the next ride. Papa D out. Merry Christmas, everybody.